Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars universe seems to be quite expansive, not just with their new books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about the new Star Wars TV shows that are currently in the mix, as well as new Star Wars movies by, of course, Disney and Lucasfilm, and exactly how they plan on expanding Star Wars Legends. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you you all so very much for the kind support it is greatly appreciated now we are currently in a very exciting time for the future of the star wars universe because we have a lot of things on the horizon we've got the kenobi tv show coming out we have a lot of promo images that are all set and ready to drop for that show as well as new footage in just a short number of days there's a lot of things happening with the Ahsoka Tano TV show, in case you guys did not know. There's a lot of sets being built. In fact, Rosario Dawson is already doing rehearsals for many of her sequences that she will begin filming in about two days. So there's a lot of work being done on the Ahsoka Tano TV series to really get things started with this new Star Wars universe that's also going to really kickstart a lot of Legends characters coming back into the equation, as well as Star Wars Rebels characters coming into live-action form, such as Sabine Wren, Ezra Bridger, Grand Admiral Thrawn, and more. So, that's of course, you know, what fans are looking forward to the most, alright? This year it's all about Kenobi, next year it's all about Ahsoka, which by the way is going to be very much focused on the Force and the Jedi, Jedi Temples, and more. So, that's the theme of the Ahsoka Tano series. It's gonna be very much strong with the Force, as Dave Filoni said. So, on top of all of this, what's really exciting has a lot to do with what Disney CEO Bob Chapek recently had to say about the future of the Star Wars universe and exactly what's in store for the fans to actually see in just a short number of years. So, on top of all of this, now that both Disney and, of course, the new Star Wars TV shows are being worked on by Lucasfilm, they, that, that will actually debut in the near future, of course. Creators John Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively working on the Ahsoka Tano TV show for Disney+. Plus. However, Disney CEO Bob Chapek has been very hard at work on the treatment of his new universe and recently made a major announcement for the Star Wars franchise. Now, when Chapek was being questioned about the future of Star Wars, he eventually went on to state, We know that many fans have different opinions on the High Republic era, and we realize that it is not the most wildly accepted time in Star Wars. So we are focusing on other eras that we, that we will be taking from Star Wars Legends. Points in time back to the days when Mr. Lucas was approving many of the stories that were ending up on his desk. Now, one of these will include the Old Republic era, where we want to focus on the Jedi and the Sith across the galaxy. We talk about this every day. We also have numerous other projects in the works that will fall into brand new eras as well, for the fans to be able to see a different side to Star Wars. We have John and Dave also working on these new eras so that we can create a consistent theme or tone across the franchise so that it stays intact with George's vision of Star Wars, which we are trying to actually respect so dearly. Now, aside from what Chapek stated, the Old Republic series is set to focus on key Sith characters that is already in early development and will enter pre-production by the end of this year. They are aiming for a 2024 release window and are going to focus on a series that will actually see characters such as Darth Revan, Malak, Malgus, Bane, and more as well in the Star Wars universe and will have a dark and gritty tone to it all. Now, let me just stop right here for one second. Now, Obviously, what Bob Chapek unveiled to fans is that they are really diving into having numerous eras as the focus for Disney. They don't want to just focus on this post-Episode 6 era. They also want to focus on different points in time. Now, so far, Kathleen Kennedy already has her High Republic show, basically. That is, of course, the Acolyte TV series. So, the Acolyte TV series is at the very end of the High Republic. Let's just make that clear. And then we have another show called Project Vortex, which will be announced very soon, that's going to begin filming, by the way, in June, that's basically Stranger Things in Space. And that show in particular takes place more around the middle point of the High Republic era. But they want to focus away from that. They don't want to pay too much attention to the High Republic. They want to focus on new eras. They want to focus on dark and gritty themes for Star Wars. And that's exactly what the Old Republic is. I don't know if you guys ever saw the cutscenes for the Old Republic. I do. 
heavily suggest that you guys go ahead and check them out online. Go ahead and look up the Old Republic cinematic scenes and you will actually get a very good idea of how dark and gritty it really is and how it really has a lot of inspiration from medieval times. I always called it this, that it's basically Star Wars in medieval times, you know. I may be wrong about the way I perceive that, but that's how I see it. So, the Old Republic obviously being Disney's main focus point right now, and to not just make it a one season show, they want to make it into an expansive multi-season series. So on top of this, all right, this new approach by Bob Chapek is described to be his way to cater to hardcore fans around the globe. The new series, which will be treated as a multi-season show, will also introduce brand new Sith Lords into the Star Wars universe for the fans to witness. These new Sith Lords are going to be revealed early in a series of books slated for release in 2023. Now, Disney's plan is to actually make the Old Republic one of the big focus points of Star Wars, and not just treating it like the Old Republic or, of course, the original take on the High Republic. They want to make this three times as popular as the Mandalorian series, and they have extensive plans when it involves the core characters and how they will grow. The show is described to stay very much accurate to the Old Republic games and books, thankfully, in order to have a dedicated core base of fans that will feel respected from the lore that will be used. Now, creator George Lucas is described to actually be involved as a co-writer that's going to be taking care of some of the episodes of the Old Republic series, where they are planning to make an official reveal of the series logo by the end of this year in order to build up the hype early for fans. It's a show that will enter the dark and gritty style of Star Wars and John and Dave will be treating this with great care and making sure that nothing goes wrong with the old Republic series. So let me just stop right here for one second. Now, we already know that Bob Chapek has plans on leaving as the Disney CEO. We covered this a couple of days ago. He wants to leave by quarter three of 2024. It has a lot to do with the drama that's going on over at Disney right now, which I'm sure that you guys know the whole story about that. We won't dive into that, but the thing about Bob Chapek is that he is trying to leave a footprint earlier on. He's trying to leave a footprint of what he was able to accomplish, not just with Star Wars, but also with Marvel, let's face it. I mean, he's really trying to outperform Bob Iger, I think is what it is, because they had a really bad falling out. I don't know if you guys knew about this, but both Iger and Chapek had a pretty awkward, intense falling out when Iger was making his way out the door. When he was getting, you know, out of Disney and leaving it all up to Chapek, there were some problems and there, were some ten there was some tension behind the scenes over there. And it's pretty obvious that this is basically his attempt to succeed of what Bob Iger could not. And at the end of the day, you know, when you look at these CEOs, it really is all about succeeding. It's about competition. And that's what Bob Chapek is focused on. But he's also focused on the fans. You know, let's face it, he wants to allow John and Dave to do as they please. The one thing that Bob Chapek is truly failing at, and I will be honest about this, is the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. Absolute failure. It seems like it's dead on arrival, at least in my opinion. But overall, I think that his direction of allowing John and Dave to do whatever they want is a great move, and we gotta at least, at the very least, give him credit for that. So, you know, anyways guys, you know, drop a comment below, let me know all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.